This is the plaintiff, Tisha Carter. She says she hired the defendant to paint her house, and the louse started the job and then took off without finishing it. She feels she deserves a refund because her house is now two colors, and she needs the money to pay someone new to complete the job. So she's suing for $400, the value of the unfinished side of her house. This is the defendant, Frank Dietrich Jr. He says he told the plaintiff he'd give her a good price to paint her house because she was a neighbor and because he could only work on the weekends. He feels he did a great job and the only thing left for him to paint is a windowsill, which he needs access from inside the house to get to. The plaintiff refuses to give him such access and is just one of those pretty girls who knows how to make things up to get what she wants and what she wants is money. He is accused of painting a customer into a corner. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff hired the defendant to paint her house, gave all of the money up front, and the guy only did half the job. But the defendant says he gave her a good price, and all that's left to paint is the windowsill. It's the case of All About Eves. Thank you, Douglas. Tisha Carter, you are suing Frank D is it Dietrich? Dietrich. Dietrich. For $400 that you say he should return to you on a paint job that he did not conclude satisfactorily. Tell me what happened. Um, so what happened was um, he moved uh, across the street and I saw that they were painting um, that house and they did an excellent job on it. So I went and talked to him to see if he could do my house. And so um, he wrote a contract up and um, I read it and I agreed with it. May I see the contract? Yes. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. So what went wrong? So I have pictures of what he painted. And when he started off, it was really good when they first started. Did an um, a excellent job um, on the um, front part of the house. But when he did the back of the house, he painted it, and then you could see, you can literally see where it's not done all, all the way. There are spots, and I told him about it, and he said that the paint needs to dry, and that's why it's like that. So those are the um, pictures that are printed. You can see it better on the... Yeah, because um, I can't see it at all on, on the pictures. The, yeah. On the phone. They're darker or they're lighter? So where it's not painted right. How is it not? Does you what is it I you see? You, you see it darker? You see it lighter? Or what? So it looks like they actually missed like missed spots. Okay, let me see so it on your phone. So it's not done all the way. So she complains to you about this, right? I mean, your neighbors. How awkward is that? So she tells you. She points out what she's pointing out to me, and what do you do about it? The siding there in this house, it's an asbestos siding. It kind of looks like corduroy. And um, the, the replacement siding that somebody else did, I also have pictures of it. And you can distinctly see, no matter if you paint it 100%, it has a shadow to it because it's got a different pattern to it. They don't make the same thing from 1950s to now. So whoever did do the replacement of the asbestos siding on the house, even though you paint it, it gives a distinct shadow and looks like it's not painted. One of my pictures I, wait, shows wait, it. hold on. Sorry. This is like, it's so weird because it's light on one part of the plank and darker on the other part of the plank. It does look exactly like what she's saying, like somebody it did. It does but, look like But that, of course, right. that's ludicrous, right? Because I can't imagine, I've never... Why would you do that? And well, not only that, why wouldn't you just get on a ladder and finish painting it if somebody complained? It's so easy. Exactly. By the way, you never painted the windowsill either, right? She never supplied the brown paint. And I gave her the empty can, which has the formula on the top of it, for her to supply some more of the trim paint, and I will gladly address it. I never heard from her, never Tell had anything. Tell me about anything. that. That... That is not true. Um, I bought paint, um, I bought another um, thing of paint just for him to do the back. He said he needed the brown. I actually think that he used the brown um, for um, his own house. I can't, I can't prove it because I didn't want to. Did his house all of a sudden have brown trim? It's the exact same color as my trim. I'm sorry. 
No, um, it's I'm the exact same fascinated. color of the trim that I use there. And I um, yeah, the thing is, though, you don't know how many coats it takes to cover. Was it brown originally or was it white? It's brown originally. Well, how come there was no leftover? You just used precisely used exactly everything except for one windowsill? The house was in such poor shape, which I also have pictures. We did go exactly through every last little bit of paint. I also have a picture of my house. There's no brown on my house. Let's see. But apparently. So why is it stupid to pay everything up front? I'm gonna go in the back. Because now they have no incentive to do the job well. Ah, that's a good one. What do you say? Or even to finish. If they're not waiting on any more money, they don't even have to finish. How much do you withhold? How much do you withhold? I think 50% is a fair deal. Office of work is done. Sounds good to me. Going inside the courtroom. Oh, wow. And if you look on the side of the house, there's the same problem with this, the shingles. You can see where they're blotchy, where you can actually see the distinct replacement shingles. I see brown in this. There's no brown in the trim? No. It's oh, blue, that's green, good. and on that house. When are you going to finish your own turret there? Yeah. <laughs> I just closed on the house, so it's been an awful lot. <laughs> it's a really pretty house. And if you see on the driveway side there, you can what, see who, where wait, the Wait, wait, hold on. I'm Whose pictures are these? Those are for me. You see that square shape in the middle, which is distinctly geometric, which is the replacement shingles. More is there shiny. a solution to this? I mean, um, you're a painter, right? Is there no, a solution? No, not really much you can do about it, because unless you put more coats on top of it, you could probably make it mimic it, but she only paid for one coat of paint. I don't understand what, if the solution here is put a few more coats, why wouldn't you just do it? Why would you end up in court with your neighbor instead of just getting on a ladder and doing a few more coats? I, I just, because I don't she never get supplied people. more materials. Why you do, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get how you would let her sue you and come here instead of just getting on a All ladder and do doing whatever's necessary. All she had to do was buy the gallon of paint come across the street. I know, but I'm serious. I'm like, not spending my money on buying her paint for her house. How I mean, is it? Oh, these are it. pictures of all of the paint chips that were the, the yes. scrapings that so, were left behind. Yes, and I even have this where he didn't clean up. This is this is paint from my house. You actually brought it? Yes. Oh my god. Because oh, this kind of your, your job according to your contract. It was vacuumed. He didn't do. He no, didn't no, this do is outdoors. Anything. What do you mean vacuumed? It's shop bags. It's yeah, lead paint. Shop bags, but that, you missed a, a few spots because I'm looking at the pictures. No. I mean. It's lead paint. You have to shut. Yeah, pick it up. Yeah. Don't leave it lying around. <laughs> you have kids? Um, I just have one, but he. Is how old? Like little or big? A big. How yeah. how how old? Oh, you don't like saying. Yeah, wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> have you had another painter come and give you an estimate on quote fixing this? No, I didn't. I I just I I can't understand how two neighbors. Who, but, you know, and I, and I understand what he's saying that, gosh, so why would I miss a spot in right in the middle of the, it's kind of ridiculous. They're up there. Uh, did you do it with rollers? Yes. Right. They're there with a roller. It's no sweat off there. They're, so there has to be like kind of something there. But I just can't believe that the something couldn't be fixed with another few coats, not for the whole house, but just for the, for that part. Um, it's just, it's. She didn't leave the paint outside or buy the trim paint, and it would have been gladly yeah. done right across the street. Yeah, I don't think years. he took your paint. I don't. I, I don't think he took your paint. <clears throat> I, that's just, it would be so lame to take the young lady who lives across the street, I called you young, young lady who lives across the street, steal a bit of her paint, like enough to do two windows. That's just, it's not making any sense. All right, but uh, I'm taking that into consideration, obviously. I'm taking into consideration that there is something that needs doing. I'm taking into consideration um, that I really think that this was a very easy fix and the answer's not, ha ha, you paid for one coat in the house, so I'm not gonna do anything to try to fix that. She had to and leave that, no, 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 no. I refuse to believe that you ended up with exactly the amount of paint you needed for the outside of the house and didn't have even enough to go like this in that little spot, I'm just not. So anyway, you're leaving me at a guessing game to figure out what, quote, repair would cost. So I am going to um, give a reasonable estimate of what I think, and that'll be $250. I'm ordering the defendant to repay the plaintiff $250. That's my judgment. All right, both sides, hold on right there, please. Well, the painter had to go to court, defend himself here in court against his neighbor, and she winds up collecting $250. What's your reaction? Absolutely ridiculous. She didn't supply the materials, which the contract says, and uh, there's no way to contact her. She doesn't supply the materials. Otherwise, it would have been done. 
30 years of experience of doing this work. This, absolutely this is your neighbor. This is your neighborhood. It's yeah. a, you're in a word of mouth business, right? Well, I tried to get my house up worth a little bit more money by helping her out by taking 25% off initially. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right, so step on in here. Uh, what's, your, what's your feeling on this here and him? I just can't believe you didn't tell the truth. What's, what, about, what are you so shocked about? Just the, the things that he said um, that happened and the reasons is just shocking. Harvey? So it's a deal breaker, guys. If you um, deal with somebody and they say, no, I want the money all up front, um, you say, uh-uh half and half when it's done. And if they insist and they say, I want it all up front, what you do is you find somebody else. 